Okay, then let me speak to the assistant to the deputy records officer. Why do people say Eureka when they do something good? It's uh, Greek for bingo. Well, so, Eureka. I found the autopsy reports and they back up Orville Tanner's story. The body of the alleged victim, cut up Red John style. Which means Renfrew was telling some kind of truth about his Red John connection. Van Pelt. What's that you're working on? Sir, I asked her to... I'm talking to Van Pelt. Sir, I'm doing research for Jane. No excuses, sir. You too, I suppose. Hey, boss. I gave this unit a direct written order, and they have flagrantly disobeyed that order. Did they do that with your knowledge? I ordered them to do it. I told them you countermanded your earlier order. They had no knowledge whatsoever that they were doing anything irregular. Nice try, Mother Teresa. They already gave themselves up. We never said a word. I stand by my story. They didn't know they were out of line. Sir, the opposite is true. We forced Agent Lisbon to let us do this. Very touching. My ex-wife would love this scene in a movie. I'm giving you all formal notice. Any further infractions will result in immediate suspension. Sir, you might as well suspend me now because there will be further infractions. Jane needs our help and he's gonna get it. I'm not gonna lay off because some fat cat's putting on the pressure. Me too. Me too. And me. Moving eloquent. Two thumbs up. You shall have your wish. You're all suspended. Starting right now for gross insubordination. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, Lisbon. Still here? Uh, that was more of a rhetorical stand we were taking back there. You take it back then. Oh, no, but I wanted to talk to this, you. This, the, um... The suspension paperwork, right here. Look, I, I have to go and visit my sister in Hawaii for a week. She's sick. Meanwhile, this paperwork is going to sit on my desk for a week. Is that clear? One week. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Be very grateful. Do not contact me. I do not want to know anything. And please, do not dig the hole that you were standing in any deeper than you have already dug it. No, sir. That hole is the grave of your very promising career. You should put a flashlight underneath your chin just to complete the effect. I'm not kidding. I know.